All right, guys, on today's video, I am going to show you how to buff out scratches from improper washing and drying. All right, so this is the same 2012 Accord V6 that we featured in our um, Sonex video. And I'm gonna take somebody that's never ever buffed a car before and I'm gonna show them as I show you how to do it so that you have the knowledge to do this yourself. You do not need to take this to a detailer to do. So the first thing that we have done is we have taken some clay right here. If you don't know what that is, that's a clay bar. And this happens to be an Adam, Adam's clay bar. I will put a link in the description to the clay bar I use mostly, which is Chemical Guys. Now you can do this one of several ways. I'm just taking some soapy water, all right? And I'm rubbing the clay bar across like this until it becomes super, super smooth. Now sometimes people use detail spray. You can use, there's actual clay bar lubricant, but good soapy water that's really, really slick does the exact same thing. All right, so I'm gonna go have or volunteer go ahead and do that now have you ever clay barred a car before no nope. of course not so all all you have to do when you're clay barring is make sure to keep plenty of lubrication on the hood at all times and that just glides the clay bar over now before we started doing this hood it was it felt like pebbles were in here and now it's super super smooth so we do this first and normally after this car has been buffed and we've put the Adams paint sealant on there, when he redoes it, he'll need to do maybe a light clay barring and then he, will, uh, he won't have to do any buffing because he's not going to wash his car in a commercial car wash anymore. Honda paint, especially the black paint, is pretty soft and it scratches and swirls very, very easy. So when you're doing a clay bar, you can do it in circles if you wish. You can do it back and forth, side to side. Just make sure you get everything. And this is so smooth right now. It's unbelievable. So once we finish the hood, we're gonna do the front end. We'll do the side fenders and we'll wash it all off and we'll be right back. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to do this section right here okay so we've clay barred the car it's nice and smooth the paint is very very smooth but there's tons and tons of swirls in it scratches um, just minor scratches spider webs that's what it looks like when you see those little round um, web looking things all right so the first thing we're going to do i've got the porter cable polisher um, if you don't have this you can get one from harbor freight it's best to get one that's got an adjustable speed right here. Okay, so this is just a waffle. This is an orange waffle pad. It's just a uh, kind of a medium cut. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of uh, detail spray. You can use any detail spray you want. Just give it a couple spritz to prime the pad. All right. I I'm happen to use Adam's machine polish. That's what I'm going to start out with. I use, I always start out with the least aggressive. And I'm going to put just a, about five little drops right there. And then I'm going to just dab it in the area, just like this. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't want this stuff slinging. All right, so I've got it on number one and I'm going ahead and spread the, po the polish out in the area that I'm gonna be working. All right, then I'm gonna turn it up to about speed five. All right, and all I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going back and forth. Overlapping about 50%. And you can see the polish, it's making, a, it looks kind of like a hologram. Then I'm going to go the opposite way. And 
and we'll turn it up just a hair faster. Now this kind of uh, polishing, you're not gonna you're not gonna hurt the car because this is called an oscillating. Because if you press down too hard, the pad stops. So it's not like a forced rotation like you see body shots using. Now people ask, how do you know when to stop? Well, when the polish starts breaking down and starts turning into dust, that's when we're going to stop. So maybe a couple passes each way. And I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on here. I'm just, if I put no pressure at all, it's going to do that. I just got to, just a, I don't know, maybe two or three pounds worth of pressure on there. Okay, now we're going to take a cloth and wipe that off. About a 400 gram microfiber cloth. All right, ready? All right, now look at it into the sun and see the difference. Wow. That's smooth. All right, now it, it removed the light spider webs, okay? It didn't remove the heavy one jet. That's because we always want to start with the least aggressive. But you can see the difference, the line right here where I did it. So that's telling me that I'm going to have to use a little bit heavier compound on the uh, on the car than if I want to get all this out. So we'll get that and we'll be right back. All right, so I tried a little bit more aggressive polish over here and I don't know if you guys can see what we're seeing there's this section and then this is where we use the original and it's still got some some swirls but look at the haze that's in the paint over here compared to here and it's real hard to tell if the monitors picking it up or not but there's there's water spots here which we'll be able to get out All right, so let me uh, let me try a little bit more aggressive pad, and then we'll come right back. Okay, so what I finally did was we used the microfiber cutting pad with the Adams Severe Swirl Polish Remover, and it did a really, really nice job. It didn't get everything out. We're not trying to get it 100%, but it removed probably, I don't know, 95 percent does it look better looks a lot better feels better all right so the next step and let me show you what the that's what the microfiber cutting pad looks like with the adams severe swirl remover and then what we'll do is we'll follow up with the uh, pad that we were using with our um, fine machine polish then we'll lay a coat of the Adams liquid paint sealant on there. You'll notice that when you use more aggressive polishes, you'll get this dust everywhere because it breaks down really quick. So we're going to be doing today, we're going to be doing the fenders, uh, the front fenders and the hood. And as you can see, the, the front fenders also are pretty much have the same, that haze. So we're going to be taking care of that and then we'll be right back. All right, so the owner of the car right here has never buffed before in his life. So if you're using a good oscillating buffer like this, random orbital, you are not going to have any problem. All right, and then, then you want to go this way. There you go. So he's overlapping. His pass is about 50%. And we're on speed six. So he 
he's going to go ahead and put four small dots. He's just going to flip it over oh. and put four. All right, that's good. That'll be enough to do the rest of the hood. And he's going to do the exact same thing that we did before. He's going to blot that out all over the other half of the car first. There you go, all over. Do it a little bit. Get get those chunks that you got up there and blot it all over. So this helps to, this helps to keep sling from going. Grab some more there and just kind of, there you go. All right, so now he's got it on uh, speed one and he's gonna spread the uh, polish out. Always start the machine with it on the car. Okay, then just turn it on. Now he's just gonna spread it out real fast. Uh, the only purpose for this is just to spread the polish out so it's a nice, thin, even coat. Very good. You sure you haven't done this before? All right, now he's gonna spread just a little bit right here. All right, now he's gonna keep the polisher on the car and turn it to speed six. All right. And he's gonna do the same thing he did on the other side. And when he's done, we'll come back and have him uh, wipe the hood down and we'll see what, uh, what's underneath. wipe the residue off it's real smooth oh that looks nice feels nice good gosh that feels as smooth as my car now That's like a black mirror. Oh yeah. Unbelievable. Check it out this way. Look at the reflection of the house now. Wow. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna finish up the two front fenders and then we'll be back and show you what we're gonna put on here to protect this for a year. All right, so everybody always asks me what I have on the Accord, and this is what we're gonna put on his Accord is Adam's liquid paint sealant. And we're just gonna put a generous amount, a couple, two or three dabs right there on the, this is a microfiber applicator. All right, and it's real easy to apply. We're just going to Take it like this, whoops. All right, is this some kind of a joke? I'm just gonna spread it out. You don't have to get it real thick at all. You just need to get a light coating. So we're gonna do everything that we buffed today and we'll be right back. All right, so we have the Adams liquid paint sealant all over the fenders, the front end, and the hood, and we went ahead and put it on the window windshield, and we'll let that flash over. Once it flashes over, we'll take a clean microfiber towel and buff it off, and then show you the results. All right, so we're taking a, uh, this is an Eagle Edgeless 400 gram microfiber cloth. This is the only thing that I use to remove um, wax or sealant because it's so gentle on the paint. I'll put the link to that also below. All right, so what do you think about this smooth, slick black car now? Beautiful. Beautiful. So it's on the, uh, the Adams paint sealant is on everything. It's on the trim, it's on the lights. And here's a pro tip. If you keep your lights, your plastic covers, um, keep the Adams paint sealant on it, they will never turn yellow. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and finish this up and we'll be back to show you the final result. All right, so here is the final result. And I must say it came out very nice. So we only did the, only did the front end, but the depth and clarity of the paint now. Now there's still some orange peel in there and the only way you would get that out is a wet sand it. This is the daily driver, not a show car. But let me show you compared to the, the top. There's a lot of, what's making it look like it's got some haze is the water spots um, and the tiny bit of oxidation. But the clarity right here is, is very, very clear and it's super smooth. It feels better than it was when it was new. And you can actually see the metal flake or pearlescence in the paint. So anyway, guys, I hope that this video has empowered you to get out there and buff and clay bar your own car. If you did this whole car, it would probably cost about $110, $120 or so. Um, but you can buy your own materials and keep your car nice and clean. Keep it, uh, keep it buffed and shiny. Once you get it to this stage, it's very, very easy to keep clean. When you do your weekly washes, it'll be much easier to clean, wash, and it'll be much easier to dry. So I will see you guys on the next video.